So we're here at the children's back the woods and I'm going to be talking to a few people who make kids shows. So we're here at the Children's Bafta Awards and there's going to be loads of nice people who are going to be speaking to us today. So come on, let's go and speak to some people. Yo, how you doing? I'm Sam. Oh, nice to meet you. Alright, looking very yeah. sharp. Like you do, you look great. Really good. What's your name? Val. It's what? Val. Val. Nice to meet you. Not nice to meet you. Have you got any questions yeah. for us? Go on then, what's your question? What was it like starting out? What was it like starting out? Well, it was a long time ago. How old are you? Seven. You're seven. Well, we actually met 12 years ago. Yeah. So you weren't even born then. Yeah. We were on a, a, a singing show called Pop Idol. And uh, we used to be singers, yeah. but we weren't very good. So <laughs> we decided to be children's TV presenters, which has worked out pretty well. Yeah, it's just been pretty good actually starting out. Yeah. yeah. Have you got any advice for a new presenter? Uh, a new, uh, advice for new presenter? Mm. You need to dress smart, so tick like you. You need uh, to ask really good questions. Tick. Tick. You need to have cool hair. Tick uh, and be nice to everyone you meet ever. And you're all being very nice to us, so that's nice. Tick. So, there I you reckon go. you're going to be up there, mate. Yeah. I hear you're up and up for a war tonight. Yes, yes we, we are. are. We're, up, we're up for best presenters. And also, our show, Big Friday Wind-Up, is up for best entertainment show. So, fingers crossed. Great. Thanks, mate. How many nominations? We've got two nominations. Yeah. Uh, one in best presenter and one for best entertainment show. Yeah. And we've been, we, we've been nominated for Best Presenters for three years in a row now. We won it the first year, we didn't win it last year, and then who knows what will happen this year. Fingers, Fingers crossed. crossed. Fingers crossed. Good luck. Thanks, Thanks you, very mate. much, High mate. Five. Bring it in, bring it in. Bo. Bo. Nice one, mate. What's your name? Bo. Bo? Yes. Nice to meet you, Bo. How, how long did it take you to make padding? It took me ages because I wrote it as well as directed it. So it took about five years, all told. So it was a long time. So when you were very, very small, I was already starting it. So they're long jobs films. Did it make you some money? <laughs> it did make me some money. Yeah, I mean, it's sort of... I, I'm still in work, so that's good, yeah. What sorts of projects are you doing at the moment? Um, well, I'm trying to make us write a sequel to Paddington, so we're trying to make Paddington 2. And hopefully that will be a bit quicker than five years. Thank you very much for talking to me. Thanks, Bo. You're welcome. Bye. So we're just going to go and, so we're just going to go and speak to Keith now. Yeah, 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 go. Hello. Hi. Nice to see you. What's your name? Bo. Keith Chegwin. I used to work in children's television a long time ago, so um, I was a lot taller in those days. Look, I'm really short now. <laughs> I hear you're presenting a war tonight. I am. I'm doing the best production company. Basically, it's those people who make the programmes. So there's four companies involved, and one of them's going to win it. So it's going to be quite a tough one, really. But it's a BAFTA's a great award to win. I mean, I've been to BAFTA quite a few times. I came here sort of years ago to present an award to. Do you know Holly Willoughby? No. Very nice presenter with curly hair, lovely blonde hair, and works with Philip Schofield a lot. And then when I did that, they asked me to come and host the shows. So I came and hosted BAFTA for two years. And now they've asked me to come back and give out another award. So quite a good night, really, isn't it? Do you think the children's BAFTA is really important? I think they're really, really important because do you like children's programmes? Of course I do. Exactly, and a lot of kids do. And there's more kids than adults around. So we should be making more programmes for kids. And these television people don't understand that, do they? No, they don't. No, so look, make more programmes for kids, yes? Yes. Should we say it together? Yes. One, two, three. Make, make more programmes for kids. There you go. And if they do, you owe me some money.
Look, I'll tell you what's going to be easier if we do this, isn't it? I think that is easier. Is that better? Yeah. I hear you're up for an award tonight. That is exactly right, Val. So I, uh, I, I, we both are. We've been nominated for Best Children's Presenter and our programme's been nominated. The, the programme is, uh, is about medicine and children. Are you real doctors? Yes, we are. Yes. Did you, did you not think we were real doctors? Yes. Yes, you didn't. Which one of us do you think is a real... No, we're both real doctors. We're both real doctors. I work as an infectious diseases doctor in London, and he works in New York in America. Are you two twins? We are. Which one do you think is older? Whoa, how do you know that? Because you look bigger than him. There you go. That's a good, that's a good, that's a good rule of thumb. If you're taller, you're okay, older. Like I'm older, older than you and taller than you. So how old are you? Seven. Seven. Seven's a pretty fun age to be. What was fun with you when you were seven? Um, I think I liked Lego. I think Lego was probably my, my big thing when I was seven. I was really into Lego. If you worked in doctors, what would you do? Well, we get to be children's television presenters and doctors, so I guess we just do more children's television because that's pretty good fun. But we, do quite, we quite like animals and we quite like exploring, so we might go and work overseas in other countries Maybe looking at animals vet. something I like might that. be a vet yeah. look after animals yeah. what is your favorite animal that's a good question that's a good question a uh, gorillas a gorilla honestly i look after the gorillas at london zoo when they're sick i get to do that it's true i, I it's true. had a, um, I had a pet tarantula you. i had a pet tarantula called doug he lived to be 13 years old so he was older than you when he died he was about this big about as big as your hand I, I, I wish you good luck tonight in the, in the um, presenting. Oh, thank you very much. That's really kind of you. But you did such a good job. You did really a well job. I know my favourite colour tile. Oh. Oh, which is your favourite one? Oh. Yes. <laughs> you didn't get a high five. Okay, you have a high five. I like your pink one. Nice to meet you. It's so exciting. There's loads of people to talk to. And behind us is Ben Shies. And he is a big fan of Bananagrams. Well, actually, I created the children's BAFTA. And so I am really pleased that 20 years later, we're celebrating the 20th anniversary of that children's BAFTAs. Because I believe that children deserve the very, very best of everything. And tonight, I'm actually giving out the award for preschool live action and 40 years ago I started off in children doing preschool live action in play school which your parents probably watched so I'm double celebrating tonight. My favourite programme is Finn and Jake. Ah oh, fantastic they're all good aren't they? I think if you can create good magical programmes for children that's the secret so perhaps one day you'll be a director, a writer, an actor who knows? Do something special for kids. Is that a promise? Have you got any advice for somebody starting out? Yes. What you do, do your very best. Always make sure you give love with everything that you do. And do it not just for the money, but do it because you want to make a difference to the world. That's my advice. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you very much, young man. And one day, perhaps I'll see you on the screen, eh? Yeah.